Good morning, good evening, and good night. Of course, it depends on where in the world you are. I'm Diego Gomez, and today, guys, we're going to be talking about a very important topic, something that is actually very crucial for Central America. I am actually talking about the Northern Triangle of Central America and their relationship with the United States. Guys, today we're going to be talking about the famous Angels List. This list that actually has been leaked a few days ago and also has created a lot of polemic in Central America, also in Mexico and in the United States. And also today we're going to be talking about what happened and how many officials from Central America figure in this list. First of all, today, guys, I want to actually talk a little bit about what has been happening because the U.S. plans to add almost 60 high-level officials from El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua to a sanctions list over corruption allegations a leaked State Department report revealed a few days ago. The updated report, which is actually in charge of the uh, Department of State, plans to submit to Congress includes a total of 59 officials, 21 from Nicaragua, 16 from Guatemala, 15 from Honduras, and 7 from El Salvador. Also, sources from the Biden administration have actually uh, confirmed the authenticity of the updated list, but they also said that it was not an official document. However, also a uh, state uh, uh, of department spokesperson has also told to different media outlets that the U.S. has not completed its review of the next report to Congress under Section 353 of the United States Northern Triangle and Hayes Engagement Act. Also, the Northern Triangle, with which we'll actually take a count right here on this topic, a uh, sanctions report often referred to as the Angel List, was first published by the State Department in May of 2021. Also, officials and their families identify in the report called Phase Magnistic Act sanctions and or have their visas revoked, among other measures. With also, I'm going to actually detail a little bit more during this video. Also, we need to actually take account right here that this report includes individuals who the Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, has determined have engaged in the relevant activity based upon credible information or allegations of the conduct at issue from media reporting and also other sources. Among the top names of among the top names of the list, from example El Salvador, we can actually uh, name um, Economic Minister Jose Villalobo and Nuevas Ideas Party Chief of Faction Christian Guevara. Also, the list includes a uh, Salvadoran presidential legal advisor Javier Argueta, who actually allegedly been behind the removal of five Supreme Court magistrates and presidential press secretary Ernesto Sanabria accused of using his power to force opposition members into resignation. When we talk about Guatemala on this list, we can also name um, Rafael Kuruchich, a special prosecutor office against impunity, made the list for supposedly obstructing legal processes of high-ranking officials corruption cases and also Supreme Court magistrates uh, for allegedly undermining democracy. Uh, when we also talk about Honduras on this angel list, we can also take a look at uh, Vice President Rosel Tomé is also named over accusations of embezzlement activities during his tenure with the Telecommunications Commission. Also, uh, we can actually take a look at different uh, Salvadoran officials during this list who have actually reacted uh, to the up updated list with the Guevara himself saying that he was listed because of his loss against gangs. Also, we need to uh, remember that uh, on recent years, uh, Joe Biden administration with the U.S. and also their relation with the Northern Triangle and Nicaragua have significantly deteriorated. The Biden administration has repeatedly accused the Salvadoran government for taking an authoritarian turn and Guatemalan President Alejandro Yamate for failing to fight corruption. Also, the tone of diplomatic relations with uh, the president of Honduras, Guimara Castro, uh, actually has not been clear during the last few days because we need to also take in account right here that she just actually won Honduras elections. So guys, actually, this is the situation 
and also this is what has been happening over the last few days regarding the corruption and also the government of different countries in the northern triangle of central america regarding to united states so as always i invite you to uh, follow me and tell me what do you think about this important topic in the comment section down here below and also i invite you to subscribe right here in my youtube channel diego Gomez tv and also follow me in my uh, different social medias that are down here below facebook diego Gomez tv twitter and instagram at diego reportero and also subscribe right here in my youtube channel diego Gomez tv guys as uh, always i also invite you to uh, share this video and tell me what do you think about this new leaked document of the angels list what do you think about it uh, do you think that there need uh, more people to be added on the list or maybe someone doesn't need to be on the list you can also tell me that in the comment section and this was all for today i see you in my next video goodbye